people my fish are looking beautiful welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen i mean if you want a reel with neil then he came to the right spot we actually got a reel to unbox here today we got peace and quiet right now all right so we're about to do this unboxing right now there is a holiday sale going on shop carl's and i want to make sure i get this videos out to you guys so that if you are in the market for this reel it's a really good deal right now. I don't think you, you're really going to find this real cheaper than what you could find it now in maybe a couple years or so. Because fishing stuff has gotten expensive. And then we got some tackle to go through, show you some pickups that I've grabbed along the way. And uh, so let's get over to a tabletop view. Made a nice setup here. You see, we got some little foams and stuff. It looks pretty good. I like it. But right now on Shop Carl's, they are having a holiday sale. So the first thing that struck my interest was the Abu Garcia Revo SX. Now, this is a reel that I always wanted right there. And they had a sale. It was um, $25 off and a th free $36 mystery kit. So it came out to $144 for the reel which is a 170 dollar reel and our free mystery kit there and then good news is a couple days later it changed it was 50 dollars off the reel i was like wow that right there is a difference so now this reel became 119 dollars so i sent him a message said i'm not too concerned about the mystery gift i'd rather get the 50 dollars off of the reel and they credited me they sent the money back to my card they still let me keep the mystery gift so that was cool so i got this for 120 dollars right here which is a good deal so here we go the revo sx uh, very beautiful looking reel right there these are the specs it's 10 ball bearings 7 3 to 1 gear ratio that's about my favorite gear ratio in the sevens there you know not too slow not too fast you could just do go either way with it you could real slow you could real fast whatever you want to do right you could be a switch hitter out there all right i don't really care that's your business but we got 32 inches per turn that it brings in line onto the spool there it weighs 7.48 ounces with the mono, we get 130 yards with 12 pound. With 30 pound braid, we get 125 yards. All right. So, here we go. Let's unbox this sucker. When you take the lid off here, you'll slice, slice. There's two little tabs there. This is how you're greeted. We got the foam up on the top. Move that to the side there. And then your reel is just sitting up in the box there. And if you want to dig deeper, you got your little schematics in here and your uh, little warranty information, which I always recommend. I always keep that stuff, all right? And uh, maybe you may not like a reel down the road or want to sell it. You, you'll get a better value having a box. People love boxes, all right? I keep boxes of everything. But here we go. This is the Abu Garcia Revo SX. Very nice looking handle here. It has like a nice chocolate look says the revo very stylish the, the paddles here are pretty large and they feel really good in the hand i mean you're not slipping on anything they even have their little logo up in the real handle got a star drag here clickable and it feels solid tension knob clickable very nice to what is it ergonomics i can't really pronounce that word but i mean the aerodynamics on this thing i mean it just melts to your hands it's very nice got a little information on the side this right here has 27 clicks so you can really fine tune this to your liking there and uh i mean super sweet looking reel this is all metal it's not a plastic reel we got all metal the side plate is a uh a plastic that's the only thing that is plastic but this thing is nice and robust i mean full frame metal right there what that does is that lasts longer it keeps things from tweaking around but we have this removable side plate here let me, let me bring our light over here maybe all right so i take the side plate off we have this washer here which is also a magnet so you're getting full magnetic filled all the way through the spool here here's our spool this is pretty cool right here we have these feet on here now when this thing spins these feet will fly up maybe i'll roll in some slow-mo footage and show you guys how that sucker works
This feels really good. The clickability is very nice. Show you the feet. See, they all stand up. And what that does is it'll rub along here so you get a nice, smooth, even cast. You don't have to worry about backlashing. So if you're in the market for this reel, 120 bucks, I think that's a really good deal. I mean, you're getting all the good stuff. Clicking knob here, I love that, you know, because you can really fine tune it. You can know what you're doing with your star drag. It even tells you inside here the capacity of mono and braid. Very nice spool. I mean, that sucker right there is sharp looking. That is the reel right there. They have uh, like three or four different models. Beautiful. All right. Well, I have not looked at the mystery gift yet. So let's uh, change that. Whoa, whoa, Bates. Let's see what's in the mystery gift here. Now, I don't know if they're going to just throw us some crazy tackle. I did pick up some jigs from Parabolum Fish, and he told me he would break my pencil neck if I didn't advertise these in the video so I'm trying to protect my neck but he does make jigs he doesn't really advertise them or anything like that but I had him uh, do a little bit of crappy jig so I just want to give him a shout out there man thanks a lot he does good work with the jig making there we'll put this over here we're done with that there we go now this here I don't know if it's just gonna be a bunch of just recycled baits or what I sliced that didn't look into it Let's see what we got here, if it's anything worthy. So this is the 36 value. I'm going to turn my head let you get first peek. Whoa! All kinds of, uh, damn. Googan out, huh? Alright, well, let's, uh, freaking get these things going. Definitely give us a lot of those, goodness. All right, so we got some Guggen clutches. All right, well, we got the uh, Sriracha Crawl. I actually do own this one. Cool. So I guess this was a lipless kit right here. And uh, you know what? I really like jerk bait, liplesses, and square bills are some of my favorite hard baits. I mean, I really dig the liplesses. Check that out. What is this sucker? mud bug and uh, these are what quarter ounces two and a half inches uh, or a half ounce all right the half ounce there's a bunch in here we'll count them at the end to see how many we got look at that I mean that's a pretty cool deal I mean I didn't buy these see, I didn't pick these so it was a mystery so that's pretty cool I'm getting some good colors here all right, what is this guy? Uh, cash crawl. You can really see how they built this one. We got some BBs in there. They look like they're copper BBs. About six, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like some copper and silver up in there. No, they're all copper. A whole bunch of copper. Then we got the lead up in there. They do got a good eye. I mean, their packaging's nice. They definitely are very good at marketing. I like this color. This is their ghost gill right here. This sucker looks pretty good. Let's see how they have them all tied up. But uh, we got the little chartreuse tip there. This one looks like it has silver BBs in it. Yeah, that's pretty cool right there. I do love their eyes. Oh, we lost one. Ooh, I know what this is. This is the Mondo Shad. And I know that because I actually got one of their uh, wake baits, which that reminds me. Uh, I don't know where that's at. But Mondo Shad, that's a cool one there. Nice paint job. I mean, all for free, you cannot complain. Good color right here. Gold has been the freaking killer for me this year. I've been throwing gold paddle tails, uh, the uh, 13 Fish and Magic Man lipless, and the color Golden Retriever has been a very solid one for me. But some pretty nice ones, let's see. There we go. Got a total of seven. Really freaking cool. I'm pretty uh, happy about that. 
I know they do sell these boxes like uh, if you want all the jerk baits, square bills, flat sides. I mean, the Guggen baits, they got pretty much every bait you need out there. They, they pretty much make it. There's a reason why I have these here, but we'll get into these later. All right. Now, this stuff I have since summertime, so some of the deals in here you may not be able to get anymore. What are these? Oh, okay. These I did pick. All right. I know some people don't like the Guggen bait. Some people do. I don't really get all caught up in the uh, the politics of the baits. I do like their wire baits, and they make good jigs. So these are all the bumpers here. So this one here is summer, not summer. What is it? Sunrise Craw. Really love that color right there. Does very well for me. And uh, they actually put Mustad hooks on there. I don't know about these ones, but uh, let me see. Yeah, Mustad hook for strength. So, I mean, you're getting a nice head design, nice hand tied skirt. You're getting a Mustad hook on there. And uh, some pretty nice, we got ball bearing spinners up in there. So, pretty nice. Got that one. We This is like a white and chartreuse. Chartreuse white. Very nice. Man, I am definitely behind on stuff. Uh, this is their bluegill pattern here. Let's bust some of these out here. There we go. Let me show you the, the setup here. So the bait keeper is very nice, but I usually don't run any trailers on spinner bait. Sometimes I will. Sometimes I don't. But we got the lead bait keeper, and then we got the little wire keeper there. A nice mustad hook ball bearing swivel very nice this is going to have a lot more thump and kick and more vibration in the water and if you notice i got all half ounce half ounce is my favorite when it comes to spinner baits we'll just uh, put this one in there loosely these got to go in their homes and then you got to have a black and blue one good nighttime bait dirty water bait right there and I'm pretty sure I got all half ounce. Yep, all half ounce. Colorado blades. They actually had a sale. Uh, when did I order this? Hide my address. All right. So that's when I got these suckers. We got these 6-9-2023. The bumper. So yeah, very behind there. And then uh, we got some uh, little juicy jigs. Now they had a sale. I do remember these were like $2 for a jig here. And I really like these. 5 16 ounce. I just got this one's called Cowboy Crawl. Very nice looking jig. We'll take one out of the pack. Oh, this one is actually opened up here. So there we go. Nice wire keeper there. Nice head design. Tells you the weight on the bottom of the head. The wee guard. It's nice and plush but still stiff enough. I mean, you could throw this into the nasty stuff and still be able to set the hook very well. I like to feather these suckers out. That's always a must. See how much better it looks? It kind of spreads along with the skirt there. Much better like that. So always do that. Trim your skirts. You don't want them all even like that. That looks boring, right? You want it to be like, you know, picture a girl walking down the street and her skirt's just even flat. And then another girl comes in and her skirt's a little cut up in different areas. You're going to find that more attractive. Well, so well with a fish. So we got that one. What was that, Cowboy Crawl? I don't even know. Black and blue. This is um, Green Pumpkin right here. And this one is Rotten Pumpkin right there, which is a very nice one, which has uh, been very successful for me this summer, the Rotten Pumpkin. So that is the one box we got there. Let's put this sucker off to the side. Oh, man. Up, oh, cover up my dress and stuff. All right, so the order date. This was 6-18-2023. And, uh, oh, I made out like a bandit here. So, they had, uh, on their store, they had a sale, right? A clearance thing or something. And they had these heavy metal tungsten jigs on there for $2 a pack. And um, then they had their other, these are di distributed by Ketchco. So, it's like their house company brand. And there's another one called Hard Hats. And uh, it was funny because they had lead jigs. 
that were uh, like $3 and then the tungstens were $2. So I took advantage and I bought up a whole bunch of these because I really like the, the tungsten. As you see, we got a whole box here. I mean, really so many of them. And I think they messed up, truthfully, because I, I, I double dipped with these. I placed two orders and got a whole bunch of these. And then when I looked, they had the two different jig prices switched around. The leads were $2, and these were like $3. So I think somebody messed up on the store and put them on there by accident because they were really quick to change that around. But as you see, very nice uh, jig heads there. You know, you get you use these as little swim bait jig heads, little uh, Ned jig heads. So I got a bunch of that, some terminal tackle, a little boring stuff. Now, I got one of these in my very first mystery tackle box. And this has been like my lucky spinner bait. It, it just never, ever got lost. I've caught so much on it. I mean, it was beat up and finally lost it. And, uh, you know, I, I just felt like I always had to replace this one because it's always just done very well for me. And this one is in a half ounce as well. And this is a house brand bait there, the Carl's Amazing Spinner Bait. But I'm telling you, this thing freaking slays. All right, there's nothing special about it, and maybe that's why it slays. But it was definitely like one of my favorite spinner baits in my box. There, I mean, it's like I said, it's nothing special. We got the rubber band skirt. It has a nice hook, but th these things just flat out freaking work. I mean, they just catch it. It was my lucky spinner bait, so went back and bought that sucker. And I think these are a pretty cheap spinner bait if you were to buy it yourself. You know, I don't think they're that much. And uh, let's keep it going. Getting down to the nitty gritty. I do have another thing to show you, though. I'm saving that for last. Oh, all right. Here we go. When let me see if I have the sticker when we ordered this stuff. Yeah, we had this stuff for a while now. All right, so we got this January, February, March. We got this in March 2017, or uh, 2023. So we've had these suckers for a while. I just uh, haven't got a chance to do it. So this is the Tackle Frog. This frog is really freaking awesome. And uh, it's weird to say it's really awesome and I haven't caught anything on it yet, but I really enjoy fishing it. You cast this sucker out and uh, let me show you. So this is like a 13 or $15 frog that they had on there for $5. Now they're up to $8 on a sale thing. But what's really cool is you cast this out and as you retrieve it in, these feet, they hit each other. And it just sounds so good. It's just a bait. You throw it out there, cast it, and you just retrieve it in and these things spin. And I mean, something's definitely going to bite it. I tried to up my frog game this year. I did actually catch some on some frogs this year. I just got to get around to getting that footage up. But really cool frog right there. The Teckle frog. So uh, I own uh, three of these now. And, uh, you know, every time they send me, like, a different color when you don't get to pick the color when it was on sale. But that's definitely a good color, a bone color there. And more of these suckers. I've ordered these in the past. This is more of a saltwater lure, but they work just fine in fresh water and they hold up very good to the fish. Um, it does say don't mix this plastic with other plastic, and I don't know why, but maybe something that they have on there. It's not a Laztec or anything, but uh, you can see it has this thing. It's kind of like a slinky, but I love that colorway right there, the purple and the black, so got these. And... Uh, they do make smaller ones. So if you don't want the 4.5 inch, I do believe that they make a 3 inch there. But very nice. But yeah, it says uh, we recommend storing these baits separate from other soft plastics. So I guess there is some kind of reaction. I'm not sure. And we got some big TRD crawls. Now some of the stuff uh, I did take out fish with me. But pick that up. Pick these up to black and blue. These are very buoyant, very stretchy. And a green pumpkin. So we got uh, some three packs of these suckers here. And you can see you can stretch these things for days. Z-Man's Elastec is very good stuff. It'll hold up for a very long time. And a lot of the stuff you fish on like a Carolina rig if you were to. It'll float up and just 
stay a little off the bottom, you know, get yourself a nice mono leader. When you fish the Carolina rig, it's better to have mono because it keeps your bait up more, you know, floor sinks quicker. So I always recommend uh, some, some mono. And we got these. These were only a dollar on there. These are the, uh, they remind me of a chigger craw, but it's from Big Bite Baits, the college craw. Now, I know one of these should be open. Well, actually, I got uh, four packs, two of each color, and uh, the other two packs are somewhere else. But I guess we'll just open one up. I ain't got time to sit there, slice on the side, but I want to show you guys one of these suckers. They're actually, uh, Big Bite Baits is an awesome company. They make a lot of great baits. You see, it's like a chigger craw. Very nice. They smell really good. Nice golden bronze color on the underbelly. Then we got the gold flake to the top with like a green pumpkinish look. Very nice. And you get eight to a pack. So definitely a good deal. It's kind of awkward stretching my arms over in front of the camera. Now uh, there's another Teckle Frog that we got. That's in that box. And they had this bait on there. This is the Bagley. It's a Bolsa. It's a shallow Bolsa. Shad 07. And they're a very good company right there. We got a nice little L lip there. Made of wood. A little rattle in there. They carve a little tunnel out inside the wood. Pretty much just two pieces of wood pushed together, but they burrow out a tunnel in there and they put a little bead in there. So that's why you're hearing the little knocking. But pretty cool. All right, now, the reason why I had these guys out is every year, since last year, they've been coming out with some special uh, like holiday colors, you know, limited edition. Well, we'll hold off on them. Hold on. Let me find that other box. All right, here we go. Our last box right here. Pull this sucker out. All right, so as you see, we ordered some stuff there. Right now, during the holiday sale, I got these suckers right here. Let me clear out some room. Got the uh, Shimmer Swimmers right there in a the Chartreuse, which is a great color. They do catch fish. I know it looks loud and goofy, but these were $2 a pack. So they're maybe even a dot. No, I think it was two. So there we go. Two, four, six, eight dollars. We got some Shimmer Swimmers. Pretty good bait right there. Fish do like them. And then they had this for $2 as well right there. They had the Blade Baits, which is a really good deal. This is the Acme V-Rod, and it's a very nice-looking uh, blade bait. But they did show a all chartreuse color, so that's what I thought I was getting. But I actually do really like this colorway right here. That's a nice blade bait right there. And uh, I lose blade baits a lot, you know. The one blade bait that I have that I've had for a long time is uh, two of them. It's a Johnson's uh, blade bait and one from Lunker Hunt. Those two, I never seem to lose. But we did get that sucker there. And now let me show you why I have these, uh, the bull sheds. Why I have these bull sheds out. So, every, uh, since last year, they always come out with an exclusive color. Like, this one you cannot get. They do it during a holiday sale. They do a custom paint job on these bull sheds. So, I got that bull shed last year. This was a custom one, too. I know two of the four you could still buy right now, but two of them you can't. So I believe the ones that you cannot buy right now are these two. No, it, actually, it's uh, you cannot buy the red one no more. You could get the B one, I believe, and then one of these two. But I'm explaining this like crap. But got these last year. All right, they were some exclusive colors during the holiday sale, exclusive to members. And this year's no different. They came out with an exclusive one right here. This is a gingerbread one. Now, I buy these more for myself. I don't really buy them to fish them. I just buy them to collect them because I think it's cool. Uh, I probably will try to catch a fish on some of these. But this is pretty cool. 
And I like one thing that they did here with this one. Uh, working behind the camera is a pain in the butt. I don't know, do you guys ever think these will be worth money sometime? I mean, once they make them, they, they say that they will not make them again. And so far, they've been holding true to that. And I hope they keep it that way, you know? Just keep it exclusive, one run, and that's it. But that's a gingerbread cookie right there. And I like that they put the little Christmas string. I might actually hang this one out on a Christmas tree. But I do have a cat, so probably not. Maybe I'll have to take the hooks off. But I thought that was pretty cool right there. A little gingerbread cookie. A uh, little bait, you know? A little swim bait there. They got the bull shad, and then they got the bull gills. Uh, which, yeah, the bull gills are... Well, the bluegills are bigger. So, I'm waiting for them to come out with the secret color of the bluegill. They only had the blue shad. But I know they're going to come out with another color. Usually, last year, they released them both together. And uh, I don't want to make this video too long. So, I do believe that is everything. We're going to wrap this sucker up. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to get to edit in this video and try to get it out. But if you're uh, in the market for the reel at $120, I don't think you're going to get this reel any cheaper anytime soon. And uh, shout out to my buddy Parabolum. He does do all these jigs. I mean, he's got so many molds. I mean, uh, so many molds. I actually got this whole sleeve. He did send me a Tackle Warehouse sticker up in here too. But I, I just use those things for like lint rollers. That's, that's what I do with all these uh, little stickers here. I save them and I just use them to clean lint off my shirt. But as you see, we got the bigger crappy, not the crappy jigs, but, you know, all around. These are more like a walleye jig to me, you know. And then we got the little, uh, these are built on a one, size one EWG hook, which will work really great for, um, like, uh, the little Berkeley Little Trooper, some of them smaller guys. Got a couple different weights there. I mean, I've been messing around with these suckers, so they're all open. Been putting them into different baits, checking them out. And then we got the Demiki rig here, which is a cool head design right there, you know. And one thing he does, too, he said, is he'll take a snip and cut it if he doesn't want that there. Because this is designed for more vertical fishing, you know. That's why they have the weight going underneath here, because it will actually balance it and keep it straight like that. So you could jig it falls down and then it kind of stands back up so really cool but that's gonna wrap it up hope you guys enjoyed till next time peace out